Hello everyone, I welcome you all to my channel WINS Academy for Competitive Exams. If you study to remember, you will forget. But if you study to understand, you will remember. So, understanding the concepts is very very essential in clearing the competitive exams. First, we are going to see the basic concepts of electromagnetic fields. Now, let us start our session on vector analysis. The learning objectives are scalar and vector, need for vector analysis, vector addition and subtraction, dot product, cross product and unit vectors. First, let us see what is a scalar and what is a vector. A scalar is a quantity that is characterized only by magnitude. Example, mass, temperature, time or any constant value. Vector. A vector is a quantity that is characterized both by magnitude and direction. Example, force, velocity, electric field intensity, etc. That means a vector has both magnitude and direction. Scalar has only magnitude. Now let us see a practical example for scalar and vector. Consider an object with mass k. This has only magnitude. Hence k is a scalar quantity. So now we are going to see the example for a vector. So consider an object with mass k. Now we are applying a force to that object. So what happens? The object tends to move. So here the object has a mass and also it tends to move in a direction. So it has direction. Hence force is a vector. So now we are going to see what is the need for vector analysis. Normally the electromagnetic waves travel in space. Hence to analyze the waves we need three dimensional representation. So, three-dimensional representations are better studied using vector analysis. So, three-dimension means it has three axes. So, here we have considered x, y and z. All the three axes are mutually perpendicular to each other. These are called as coordinate axes. Now, we are going to see the basic operations on vectors. Vector addition, vector subtraction, scalar product or dot product, vector product or cross product. So, before going to the operations on vector, let us see what is a unit vector. As we have seen earlier, what is a vector? A vector has both magnitude and direction. So, the magnitude is indicated by modulus of a vector and the direction is denoted as small a suffix capital A vector. The unit vector is given as A vector is equal to capital A vector divided by modulus of capital A vector. So this is the formula for unit vector. Unit vector will give the direction of that vector. So next we are going to see vector addition. So we are going to add two vectors. Consider A vector is equal to AX small a x vector plus a y small a y vector plus a z and small a z vector. Similarly, b vector is equal to b x small a x vector plus b y small a y vector plus b z small a z vector. Here a x vector, a y vector and a z vector are the unit vectors. So, by vector addition, you will be getting A vector plus B vector is equal to AX plus BX into small AX vector plus AY plus BY into small AY vector plus AZ plus BZ into AZ vector. So, by using the parallelogram principle, A vector and B vector gets added. So similarly, vector subtraction. So here we are going to subtract a vector from another vector. So here also we are considering two vectors, A vector and B vector. So for vector subtraction, we can take B vector as minus B vector. Minus B vector is nothing but in opposite direction of B vector. 
then by using the same parallelogram principle we can add a vector and minus b vector so a vector plus of minus b vector is a vector minus b vector so a vector minus b vector is equal to ax minus bx into small ax vector plus ay minus by into small ay vector plus a z minus b z into small a z vector so next we are going to see an important topic that is scalar product or dot product dot product of two vectors is equal to modulus of a vector into modulus of b vector into cos of theta so here a vector dot b vector where a vector modulus of a vector is the magnitude of vector a and modulus of b vector is the magnitude of vector b and theta is the angle between a vector and b vector so by using this formula we can calculate the dot product or scalar product so by taking dot product of two vectors the resultant answer will be a scalar so next we have to see what is the dot product of unit vectors here two important conditions one is dot product of same unit vector is always one and dot product of different unit vector is zero now consider i vector j vector and k vector be the unit vectors so i dot j vector otherwise i dot k vector or j dot k vector will be always equal to zero now i dot i vector or j dot j vector or k dot k vector will be always equal to one so in dot product of unit vectors this is very very important the same unit vector if you take dot product means its value is equal to one if you are taking dot product of different unit vectors means its value is equal to zero so next we are going to see vector products or cross product so here we will be taking cross product of two vectors its formula is a vector cross b vector is equal to modulus of a vector modulus of b vector into sine of theta into n cap here we are having an additional term n cap so this n cap is used for indicating the direction so if we take cross product of two vectors the answer will be a vector so now we have to see what is the vector product of unit vectors so here also we are considering three unit vectors i j and k now here the important condition is the cross product of same unit vector is zero in dot product we have seen the dot product of same unit vector is one but in cross product the cross product of same unit vector is zero that is i vector cross i vector otherwise j vector cross j vector or k vector cross k vector is equal to zero next if you are taking cross product of different unit vectors that is i vector cross j vector means then the third vector will be the answer that is equal to k vector if you are taking cross product of j vector cross k vector means then that is equal to i vector if you are taking cross product of k vector cross i vector means then it is equal to j vector it will be coming in a cyclic form so if we reverse this operation you will be getting the negative vector that is i vector cross j vector is equal to k vector and j vector cross i vector is equal to minus k vector so we should keep this in mind clearly if you reverse this operation you will be getting the negative value k vector cross j vector is equal to minus i vector and i vector cross k vector is equal to minus j vector so now we have come to the end of the session just we can summarize it so what is this vector and what is scalar so scalar means it has only magnitude vector means it has magnitude and direction then what is the need for vector analysis since electromagnetic waves travel in space we need 3d representation so 3d representations are analyzed using vector analysis then we have seen the operations performed on vectors 
vector addition, vector subtraction, dot product, cross product and what is the unit vector. So, in the next video, we can see what is divergence, curl. Okay, if you understand the concepts, kindly subscribe my channel and share with your friends. Let us understand and grow.